Thanks. <laughs> and it's the right of the Lord Mayor. City of Adelaide Council meeting on Tuesday, 23rd of October 2018. The Lord Mayor is in the chair. This council meeting will be streamed live and recorded for publishing to the internet. Please note that an audio and visual recording is being taken of this meeting. This means that your presence at and any contribution you make to the meeting may be collected, used, disclosed or published publicly by the council, including transferring outside of Australia. The red light to my right indicates that the meeting is being filmed and streamed. Council acknowledges that we are meeting on the traditional country of the Kaurna people of the Adelaide Plains. As respect to elders past and present, we recognise and respect their cultural heritage, beliefs and relationship with the land. We, re we acknowledge they have continuing importance to the Kaurna people living today and we also extend that respect to other Aboriginal language groups and other First Nations who are present today. Council acknowledges the vision of Colonel William Light in determining the site for Adelaide and the design for the city with its six squares and the surrounding belt of continuous parklands, which is recognised on the National Heritage List as one of the greatest examples of Australia's planning heritage. Let us pray. Almighty God, we ask your blessing upon the works of the City of Adelaide. Direct and prosper its deliberations to the advancement of your glory and the true welfare of the people of this city. Amen. As this is the last ordinary meeting of council for the 2014 to 2018 term, we recognise that on the 11th of November at 11 a.m. we will mark the centenary of the end of the world of World War One. Tonight we remember that by war's end, where over 60,000 Australian soldiers were killed and 156,000 were wounded. In particular, we acknowledge the staff of the City of Adelaide who made the supreme sacrifice for King and Country on the battlefields of World War I. William Hellier, Arthur Hooper, Henry Draper, Robert Jerome, Arthur Cracknell, William Carter. Tonight we remember these brave men and all who gave their lives in defence of their country at sea, on land and in the air, lest we forget. Thank you, CEO. Thank you, members. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Members, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last formal council meeting of this term of council 2014 to 2018. Um, members, we have two apologies for this evening's meeting, which is Councillor Maloney and Councillor Antic. <coughs> members, I'll look to you straight away to confirm the minutes, which is item six, which is the last meeting of council held on the 9th of October 2018, moved by Councillor Wilkinson, seconded by Councillor Moran. Any questions, members, about those minutes? In absence of, I put those directly before you, those in favour, those against. We carry the minutes from the meeting held on the 9th of October 2018. Members, item 7, which is public forum and deputations, as of the 19th of October, we had nil applications for. Uh, petitions, we have no petitions. So that takes us directly, members, to the business of the agenda, which is item 9. Members, your first item is item 9.1, which is an advice recommendation from the Adelaide Parklands Authority, which is a meeting held on the 18th of October by APLA. It is advice to note. Um, do I have a mover? Councillor Wilkinson moving. Councillor Clarehan seconding. 
Any questions, queries, or discussions about this to note? There isn't. Councillor Wilkinson summing up. Um, having, moved the, having moved the amendment about the importance about defining the, the curtilage of the Adelaide Park lands as being that as defined by Colonel William Bly as opposed to more recently redefined by subsequent state governments as a starting point for this, um, um, I'm pleased to have, have moved that amendment. I think it's important that if we're going to be World Heritage listing for park lands that we look dealing with the entity to envisage in its entirety. Thank you, Councillor. So you're summing up? Summed up. Members, I put this matter 9.1 before you. Those in favour? Those against, we carry item 9.1. <coughs> Thank you, Members. Members, item 10, which is the Lord Mayor's report. Uh, councillors, CEO, directors, Associate Directors, City of Adelaide staff, members of the gallery, this is my final report to the Chamber for this term of Council. On behalf of the Lady Merris and myself, it has indeed been a great honour and a great privilege to serve the community of the City of Adelaide. I'd like to sincerely thank my fellow elected members, the Councillors. I'd like to thank the CEO, the Executive Leadership Group and the entire team of the City of Adelaide for the important work that you do every day in supporting this council to build and to enhance our city. To my fellow elected members, thank you for your dedication. Together, we formed a vision about this city and we encapsulated it into our 2016 to 2020 strategic plan for a smart, green, livable and creative city. And we have made many decisions in this council chamber since 2016 that have strengthened our city and laid the foundations for the future growth of our city and for the prosperity and well-being of our communities. For this, I congratulate you all, and I hope that you too take great pride in these achievements. I am most gratified of the way that this council has been focused on creating strong partnerships for many projects and for many initiatives. By collaboratively working with community, with other levels of government, with state government, with federal government, with business, with the private sector, we have delivered far more than what we could have achieved on our own in one single term. We can all be rightly proud of what we've achieved over the last four years. Council's achievements have had local, statewide, national and international impact. To note just a few members of the many highlights of which you have achieved over the last four years. The rollout of the 10 gigabit data network in partnership with TPG Telecom. The purchase of 88 O'Connell Street with the assistance of the State Government of South Australia. The expression of interest process for the Central Market Arcade. The residential growth incentives, all once in a generation projects which are well and truly underway. Projects which will create a profoundly positive legacy for yourselves as a term of council and as, and if not more importantly, for our communities. We have also initiated a number of new policies, including Carbon Neutral Adelaide, Australia's first municipal stretch reconciliation plan, the cultural strategy, a UNESCO city of music, the Adelaide Parklands Management Strategy, the residential growth incentives, while also simultaneously reducing red tape and rescinding outdated procedures. In partnership with the State Government, there has been a significant investment into improvements in infrastructure into our beloved parklands, ensuring greater amenity, greater safety and greater accessibility. We have kept council rates low, which is positive for our ratepayers, as well as improving our competitive commercial position making the city an attractive place for new residents, making the city an attractive place for new businesses. As importantly, as we enter the spring summer season, the city of Adelaide has never looked better. And I thank our horticulture, cleansing, maintenance, infrastructure and engineering teams for their excellent work. It has been a true team effort, members, since 2014. To everyone involved, including the leaders, policy writers, governance, economic development, media, marketing, licensing, sustainability, traffic, transport, sporting, community, library, property, and so many more teams. A very big hearted thank you. The City of Adelaide is on a good path, members, and it will continue. It has been a pleasure to work with this council and it has been a pleasure for both the Lady Marius and I to serve the wonderful City of Adelaide community. 
thank you and I wish you all the very best for whatever might be next for you and I wish the next term of council every success. And most of all, I sincerely thank the voters of the City of Adelaide for electing me as Lord Mayor in 2014. Thank you. Thank you, members. Can I look to you to adopt that? Could I have a mover? Moved by Councillor Aviard, seconded by Councillor Slama. All in favour? Thank you, members, and a wholehearted thank you to you. It's been a true team effort. Well done. Members, I look to you now. Council reports, which is item 11. Um, I would like to afford the same opportunity to any councillor who is not running for re-election who would like to say a few words in front of their fellow elected members. Councillor Hender? Floor is yours. Thank you, Lord Mayor. I'll be brief, you were pleased to know. I'm just going to confine myself to thanking a few people and just, I'd just like to do that on the record. Um, firstly, I'm, I'm extremely grateful for my eight years as an elected member. Um, it's been one of the most challenging jobs I've ever had, particularly in the first term when I actually didn't have a clue what I was doing. But it's also been one of the most rewarding jobs I've ever had. Um, I've had to learn new skills, I've had to extend what I'm doing, I've done things I never thought I could possibly do, and that to me is a sign of a job worth doing. So I'm extremely grateful to those people who elected me and to who and who re-elected me and who gave me the privilege of, of serving them as their representative. Um, that's a privilege I have to say I felt particularly keenly as Deputy Lord Mayor. Um, that for me was a real honour to serve in that role, and I thank my fellow councillors for that opportunity. I'd also very much like to thank our staff, all of you. Um, I, I have to say, um, if I'm completely honest, that when I first came to council, I wasn't expecting to come across staff of high calibre. I know that sounds terrible, but public service has got a bad reputation. But public service is what we do. When I got here, I was completely blown away by the, by the, um, the, the capability and particularly the commitment of the people that I, you know, that I met as council staff. Um, I think some of the most talented people I've ever worked with, and I've worked with some pretty talented people in my other life, I think some of the most talented people I've ever worked with have been council employees. Um, so I thank you very much for all your hard work and for your guidance and, um, yeah, and Appreciate very much. Appreciate very much what you've done for me in helping me grow my skills. I won't forget it. I'd also um, like to thank the Lord Mayor and my fellow councillors. So, firstly, to those who of you who are not standing again, um, thank you very much. Can I acknowledge your commitment and your achievements during your term terms? Um, I feel very lucky to have worked with you, and um, I wish you every bit of good luck for the future. To all of you, my fellow councillors, um, I was reflecting on this today as I wrote these few notes and as I look around the room today, I realise that there's each and I've learned something valuable and abiding from each and every one of you. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm not going to But individually, um, I, I leave with, with something from each and every one of you. Uh, I have, for the most part, enjoyed our interactions. Not always, but for the most part. I really have liked the camaraderie and the challenge of Tuesday nights, and I have, I hope, made some lifelong friends. Uh, can I particularly acknowledge you, Lord Mayor? Um, I've watched with great admiration your quiet and determined leadership. Um, you've done the city great service and you'll be missed. I'd also like to put on record just very quickly my gratitude to my husband, Andrew, and to my sons. Um, being a councillor, as many of you know, is disruptive to family life. And um, my household completely embraced the challenge. Um, they gave me the support I needed without complaining about it. And I think actually we've become a better, stronger family because of it. And I'm really grateful for the, their efforts as well in allowing me to do the things I wanted to do. Finally, I just want to acknowledge our beautiful city. Um, one of the consequences of doing this job is that when you look at cities, you look at them in a completely different way when you're responsible for one. And um, as a result, I have completely fallen in love with Adelaide. I can't, you know, I can't get over how lucky I am to live in such a calm, safe, clean, increasingly green, <laughs> beautiful city. Um, 
I've got the central market as my local shops. Every March I can see the best theatre and dance and opera and music that the world has to offer with the festival. I can sit opposite my front door in a shady cafe and have coffee with my neighbours. I can walk my dog along the river. I couldn't, I don't, I can't imagine wanting to live anywhere else. Um, I love this place. Because I've been a counsellor, I really don't take it for granted. I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity that I've been given to serve it, and I thank you all for making it so memorable. Thank you. Yeah, Ms. Can I ask that that be formally adopted? Can I have a mover to adopt, Councillor? Thank you, Councillor Corbell Moore, seconded by Councillor Clarehan. All in favour? Those against, we carry. Thank you and well done, Councillor. Councillor David Slammer. Thank you, Lord Mayor, uh, elected members. Uh, same as uh, Councillor Hender here and yourself, Lord Mayor, I'd just like to, on the record, give basically some thanks to everybody who supported me through this. And I want to start with the, um, the business community. I uh, campaigned on, my campaign was built for business, and what I wanted to achieve in this chamber with you as my fellow members was things around business and make business the business community stronger and advocate, advocate for all things business in Adelaide. And, I, and we did that together. And I thank you all for your support during that time. Um, and I want to support the business community as well. The ratepayers, the businesses who, who supported me along the way, the institutions, the local government, state government, ministers, um, staff, uh, across the board, because uh, certainly a lot of effort's gone in to try and, try and change um, where we sit as a local government and our perspective on economic development. I'm extremely proud to, of the team that um, the new CA has put in around economic development and under Ian Hill's leadership, uh, things you're doing for Adelaide in not only South Australia but also internationally. Um, and that drives me to the, one of my highlights around what I've done over four years is being able to activate what was just a placard outside of the Lord Mayor's office the sister city of Qingdao, um, to have a city that is vibrant in its relationship with Adelaide and a city that's delivered um, between the two cities some great economic outcomes. And I want to thank uh, Councillor Corbell Moore for especially your efforts to do what we did um, with our sister city. Thank you. Uh, Lord Mayor, uh, tonight you'll see in the gallery my family, my wife and my children. Uh, and it's been hard for four years to spend a lot of hours away from home, uh, running business, working and serving the community. Um, it takes a lot of time and I particularly like to thank them, uh, my wife and the kids for uh, being there and um, sticking up for us along the way. Um, the elected members, uh, I did thank you, sorry, the ELT I meant to say, um, the new CEO for your leadership, um, all the directors uh, and, and the staff. There's been times when I've been frustrated with things moving a little bit slowly, but that's, that's just something I had to get used to from the private sector when you could just pick up the phone and make things happen. But I do appreciate all your efforts um, and I particularly appreciate when directors and associate directors have come out to meet the community and meet business leaders out in the field to try and talk about the issues that, that, that need to be addressed. Um, and yeah, quite often we as a councillor just, are just the, um, the, the, the conduit to the decision makers and to the people that can make it happen. But you've certainly got a great team, CEO, and I wish you all the best um, in, in the next four years as well. Um, to the committees that I've served on, the Reconciliation Committee, APLA, DAP, uh, Run More Management Authority and Convention Bureau, uh, again, met a lot of great people, leaders in Adelaide, and I'd like to thank um, those contributors to Adelaide also for, um, for being there. And I hope that all of you, uh, you at some point, buy yourself a scooter and enjoy some of that free parking that's out there on the footpaths. I wish uh, the uh, next council all the best and uh, every success. Thank you.
done, Councillor Slana. Members, I look to you for a mover. Moved by Councillor Clarehan, seconded by the Deputy Lord Mayor. All those in favour? Those against? We carry. Thank you for your contribution, Councillor Slama. Members? Councillor Clarehan. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Um, I wasn't expecting to say anything at all tonight. I was just going to slip quietly away, but I think I've been shamed into saying something. No. Uh, look, I wanted to say it has been an honour and a privilege. Um, this year marks my 21st year in local government. Uh, I retired from teaching after 20 three years and um, and started work in a, a metropolitan council as an employee and um, quickly got to see the big wide world of work outside of a school environment, which is what I was searching for. And my role was to actually develop relationships and collaborate with all the different communities, business, education, not-for-profits, etc., cetera, um, medical, shopping centres, a whole lot of different stakeholders, which was really why I retired from teaching, not because I didn't love it, I did, but I just needed to get out there and see what the big wide world of work for everyone was all about. So, and then in 2003, while I was still an employee at a Metropolitan Council at the City of Charles Sturt, I put my hand up for elections to council. Um, and that was a result, I suppose, of turning 50 and also a lot of encouragement from, my, from members in my community. Um, and so I've had the good fortune and the privilege of serving the City of Adelaide and the North Adelaide community since 2003. And bizarrely, I have to say that I started out as a community activist uh, on the Lacornu site. I remember voting in a federal election at 11.30 in the morning and, uh, and then thinking, gosh, if I don't do it, who will? So I went door knocking and I started at about 11.30 and I didn't get home till one o'clock the next morning um, because people really, I discovered that people really did want to talk about their community, really did feel for their communities and were obviously interested in what was going on. So it's bizarre that I do start that I started with the Lacornu site, and now, interestingly enough, I finish with it. Um, it's not finished yet, so maybe I'm back to being a community activist. We'll wait and see. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, look, I've, I've enjoyed um, the whole um, gamut of my experience on council. And for those of you, for those who think it's all about roads, rates and rubbish, you only have to sit through a council meeting here, at any council really, to discover the diversity of the services and the advocacy that we provide um, for our communities and the facilities and the infrastructure. And we've discovered recently, it's just not all the infrastructure you can see. Most of it's hidden, um, but it still needs to be attended to. And yes, it's still very costly. I've had the good fortune of actually um, Lord Mayor serving as a Deputy Lord Mayor under um, uh, Lord Mayor Harbison. And I've also been able to represent this council on various boards, including the Adelaide Festival Centre, uh, and study Adelaide, of which I was a member for 10 years. Uh, and of course, as Councillor Slammer mentioned, we've just had endless roles on various committees, be they Main Street reference groups, uh, the Reconciliation uh, Committee, which is dear to my heart, uh, as another two. And interestingly, um, I've also stepped outside the comfort of uh, the City of Adelaide and my role here as a councillor and ventured into the business of local government as a sector rather than just um, the City of Adelaide and its communities. And so have served as a board member, as a vice president, and surprisingly, most recently, uh, I stepped up to fill in the role of president of the, of the local government association. And so my learning curve just doesn't seem to be on the down. It just keeps going up. Um, and I've also, as a result of that, then become a board member of the Australian Local Government Association. So in terms of challenges, there have been thousands. In terms of rewards, 
uh, the, it is just huge and ongoing. And in terms of opportunities regarding relationships and collaboration, it has been absolutely endless. And I think one of the things you learn from local government is how important attachment is to PACE and also uh, a, that collaboration with your various and diverse communities. So I wanted to also make uh, pay special uh, mention too to Lord Mayor. You've been a fantastic Lord Mayor, truly. Um, you, I've just not heard criticisms of you anywhere, Lord Mayor, so that's a rarity. <laughs> it's very hard to please everybody all of the time, but you've done a pretty good job. Um, I'd also like to thank my fellow elected members. And of course, uh, where would we be without that huge, huge operation behind the scenes? We glide over the water. Well, sometimes we're splashing around a lot, but you know, <laughs> beneath that, beneath that serene water is a huge operation um, with people paddling flat out, and they are the ones that support us um, and give us advice. Uh, and I know sometimes we drive them nuts, but that's life. That's life in local government. That's life in any go any tier of government. So I just wanted to acknowledge uh, the part that our administration and the CEO has played as well. It's huge, and I'm thrilled to be able to say that uh, I take a huge toolkit of skills and understanding with me on my journey. Apart from fixing up my house, I don't know where that journey will be. I'll try and keep out of the hair of the next council for a while, but we'll see how we go. So I wish all of you who are contending for this election the very, very best. And I, I look with anticipation to the next City of Adelaide Council. Very exciting. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Councillor Clarehan, thank you and well done for your extraordinary contribution to local government. Well done. Members, could I have that moved? Moved by Councillor Wilkinson, seconded by Councillor Martin. All those in favour? Those against? We carry. Thank you, members. Well done, members. Congratulations. Members, item 11.1 also is a report to note which is activities of councillors. Uh, since our last council meeting. Can I please have that noted and moved? Moved by Councillor Anders, seconded by Councillor Martin. I presume there's no debate about that member, so I'll put that matter directly before you. Those in favour, those against, we carry 11.1 .1 and we also carry the various individual deputations. Thank you, members. Um, members, we now go to item 12, and we've got a small number of items to discuss in item 12, so I'll take you directly to item 12.1 which is a page seven of your papers. It's 2018 Review of Confidentiality Orders. It is a recommendation to note and approve. So members, I look to you. Moved by Councillor Clarehan, seconded by Councillor Moran. Councillor Clarehan, do you wish to speak to the matter? Councillor Council Moran? No. Members, any questions or queries? Councillor Wilkins. Um, I'd just like to further encourage that uh, for confidential matters moving forward that we try to segregate the reports so that we are providing as much visibility to the public and the media and the public that see the media um, so that people can see what we're going to. Um, so um, uh, I know we've done that on some occasions, but I just wish to more and more encouragement just to, to do that as much as we can. We want to be as open and transparent. Obviously, we had to deal with commercial and confidence matters, but often that's quite a small aspect of what we're dealing with in the bigger picture thing is what people are actually interested in rather than necessarily the specific commercial interest of us. Noted Councillor. Councillor Martin? Uh, yes, Lord Mayor. Look, I'd endorse uh, what Councillor Wilkinson has said and uh, and just observe that there is a deal of angst in the community about the number of matters that we deal with in confidence. Uh, and uh, I do believe that there is the opportunity for the new council to be presented with far fewer number of documents. Um, I would ask you uh, to consider putting this in parts. Um, I'm certainly happy to endorse the release of documents. 
uh, after the election, I see, but um, I'd uh, prefer not to be included in approving all of those other confidentiality orders. I would need to look to your mover and your seconder. Your mover was Councillor Clarahan. Are you happy for this matter to be voted on in parts? There are three parts to this recommendation. Yes, I'm happy for that. Too. Councillor Moran, are you happy for this matter to be voted upon in parts? There are three parts. I'm not really um, that happy about it, Lord Mayor. Um, and I will remove my second. I think this is this is. Um, I don't like to cast aspersions, but. Um, these are all voted through, and um, I think they should. I, I think they should be voted on together. Uh, it smacks a little bit of electioneering to uh, separate yourself from the rest of the council and puts us in a bad light. It makes us look as though we have been behaving badly and uh, putting things in confidence that shouldn't be. And I, I really object to that. It's a difficult decision, and I totally support the idea to, as Sandy said, and, and uh, Deputy Lord Mayor has actioned. Uh, that we separate the reports. I too have been pushing that. But no, I don't think we should take this in parts. So I think that smacks of, um, of something. Councillor, you are under no compulsion to remove your seconding. Councillor Martin, you can just vote against the matter, hold us bolus should you wish. Members, do I have any further debate? I don't, so I go back to Councillor Clara Hand to sum up. I think Councillor Moran said it. Thank you. Okay. So thank you, members. I put this matter before you in totality. Those in favour? Those against? The item carries 12.1. Members, we now look to item 12.2, which is progress to motions by elected members, page 26 of your papers. It is a report to note. I look to you. Moved by Councillor Slama as printed. I seek a second to members. Councillor Martin had his hand up second. Councillor Slava, any questions or comments? Members, I look to the floor. In absence of any hands, I go back to the mover. Summed up. Summed up. Members, I put item 12.2 before you. Those in favour? Those against? We carry item 12.2. Members, item 12.3 is to adopt and authorise. It is your annual report for the 2017-2018 financial year. You may have questions about this report, but you have a recommendation before you to adopt and authorise. So members, I look to you. Moved by Councillor Martin. I look for a seconder. Councillor Slama had a hand up second. I'll take Councillor Slama as a seconder. Do I have any debate or questions or queries, members? Uh, Councillor Martin. Board Mayor. Yes, I wondered if there are, and I couldn't see them, any uh, details or figures related to the structure of our staffing, salary bands, um, uh, gender, ethnic diversity, uh, any of those things in there? I refer that to the CEO, please, Councillor Martin. CEO. Thanks, Lee. Um, through you, Lord Mayor. Um, in this particular instance, Councillor Martin, a number of those items that are additional to the legislative requirements, given that we're currently in caretaker, haven't been included in this year's annual report. They will be in future annual reports, but consistent with the caretaker requirements, we've actually stuck strictly to what's required in the legislation to be in the report. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Look, uh, on that basis, I'm uh, just delighted. Uh, I don't have any real comment about uh, the bulk of the report. Much of it has been dealt with previously. Um, but I am relieved to hear from the administration that we will incorporate in the next uh, uh, Council annual report, as per the motion that was adopted by Council, a breakdown of uh, the staffing of the organisation, both in terms of gender, churn, uh, ethnic diversity, and I'm particularly interested uh, to read about uh, uh, whether we're seeing any results in the processes by which we're trying to recruit more Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. Um, so um, that is good news, um, and uh, thank you very much for the, uh, the detail. Thank you. Councillor Slama, you seconded. Do you have any questions or queries? Uh, Councillor Clarahan. Um, as I was reading through the annual report, Lord Mayor, I noted that I didn't seem to think that the 10 gig under Smart City rated a mention. And I was just wondering whether that was an omission or given that I felt it was one of our great achievements during the last term of council. We'll refer that matter to the CEO, Councillor Clarahan, CEO. Well, I'm very happy to leave it for them to have a look at and, and through Lord Mayor, I understood we had referred to it. We have. Page 14. 
So um, we'll review that as well. Thanks. Okay, maybe it was just in the in the general, and I've I've also just got a few um, edits that I'll pass on. Oh, there was one question, um, Lord Mayor, um, and that was in relation to a comment about our safety performance. Um, on page 43, was it, or 74 of the agenda? Um, and it was it was talking about um, our injuries were down, but the severity was the severity up, or the return to work took a lot longer. And I just wondered if um, why that is. CEO, can I refer that question to yourself? Yeah, thanks, Jackie. Could you respond? Through you, Lord Mayor, um, Councillor Clareham, what that relates to is that we had um, a decrease in the number of lost time injuries during the course of the year, but the severity of the couple of them meant there was a longer period of time until those employees were able to return to work. Thank you. And, and just one more comment. I noted in the report there was a, a mention of the aquatic centre under the competitive neutrality heading. And I thought, since when has a community facility <coughs> had to be cleared in terms of competitive neutrality for providing that service? Steve, thanks. Um, through you, Lord Mayor, it's in relation to a, an overarching global statement simulation to all of the businesses that we operate. So within the aquatic centre there is obviously the customer service aspects of what we do, but there's also the fact we run the shop, we actually run the store itself, we run a cafe associated with it, there's a gym facility associated with it, so all of those services are items that we are consistently and constantly need to reassess and ensure that we're in line with the requirements. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Councillor Clarahan. Members, do I have any further questions, queries or debate with regards to this matter? In absence of, I'll go back to the mover, who is Councillor Martin. Summed up, Lord Mayor. Members, summed up, so I'll put this matter before you. Those in favour? Those against? We carry. Thank you, Members. So that is item 12.3. Members, item 12.4, which is a response by our team led by Shanti Ditter regarding the Integrated Movement Systems and Natural Resources and Environment, which is a uh, submission to the State Planning Commission. Um, members, you have a recommendation to authorise. I look to you and you may ask questions along the way. Do I have a mover for the recommendation? I do. Councillor David Slama. Do I have a seconder? Councillor Hussam Abiyad. Councillor Slama, do you wish to speak to the matter? No, I move it's printed. Councillor Abiyad. Members, I look to you. Is there any questions, queries or debate? Councillor Slama, back to you. Summed up. Members, I put this matter before you, which is item 12.4. All those in favour? Those against? We carry item 12.4. Thank you, members. So, members, that brings us to item 12.5. You have a recommendation to note. Um, it is the LGA Annual General Meeting, page 321 of your papers. Two-part motion to note. I look to you, Councillor Moran. Uh, yes, I'd like to defer this item to the next um, general meeting in April. Ordinary general meeting in April. I'm not sure if that's possible, but um, in, in, allow me to take advice, Councillor Moran. CEO. Just checking on time frames. Yes, sorry, Lord Mayor. Perhaps the motion to be that, uh, that I recommend that the Lord Mayor move a motion on the floor of the next ordinary AGM. Can I assist you, members? The um, LGA AGM is later this week. Yes. And uh, as your Lord Mayor, you assigned me as your voting delegate at a previous meeting. So I'm presuming that this matter. Will is an important matter in terms of its timeliness, but I'll ask the CEO to confirm that. That is correct. Yeah. That is correct. So, Councilman, I do need Council to deliberate this matter with due respect to the fact that the uh, AGM for the LGA is later this week. Councilor Clare, how would you wish to make comment? Uh, Lord Mayor, I, as President of the LGA, I need to declare uh, my role and uh, that 
could be perceived could be seen as a perceived conflict of interest. Um, however, given that the um, the board um, is yet to be elected, um, the only person that I'm aware of would be um, the new president that's been appointed. So um, I'm happy to participate in the discussion. Understood. Thank you for advising your fellow elected members. So members, what you've got is you've got a two part recommendation before you. The first part is to note the meeting papers for the Local Government Association, AGM, which are contained within your papers. The second part, members, and you can do that either this evening through directing some comments my way, which I will take on board, or you can contact me within the next 48 hours, and you would need to do it within the next 48 hours, to share with me your opinions on the proposed remuneration structure as proposed by the LGA for its board directors. So you have a two part. So members, we can do this somewhat informally, but I will be voting on your behalf, so I will need your direction uh, prior to me attending that AGM at the LGA. So I look to you. Through the committee, if there is no direction, it really comes down to your discretion, obviously, at the meeting. Thank you, CEO. So, Councillor Slammer. Lord Mayor, I'm happy to move both as printed. Uh, I don't think uh, the second one, uh, the second point, it, it, as, as you said before, it, it's noting that, that elected members can make their opinions. We don't have to give them tonight. So I, you're under no obligation, Councillor, to give those opinions to me tonight, but should you wish to, I would need them within 48 hours. You can telephone me, you can email me, you can talk to me in the corridor, and I will take your opinions on board, and they will reflect how I vote on your behalf at the AGM. The move I'm, is printed. Moving is printed, so I look for a seconder. Do I have a seconder to the motion, members? Councillor Moran, thank you, Councillor. Do I have any further questions, queries, or debate? Councillor Slammer? Yes, Members, I put this matter before you, item 12.5. Those in favour, those against, we carry 12.5. And our CEO, who is an emerging key risk free zone, we have no emerging key risks. Well done, CEO. A spotless, unblemished record. Well done. We should give the CEO a round of applause, members. Well done. So I take you to item 13, which is questions on notice. We don't have any questions on notice. Members, do I have any questions without notice to item 14? I don't see any hands, so I go straight to item 15, which is motions on notice, of which we do not have any registered. Mem uh, item 16, motions without notice. Deputy Lord Mayor Vershaw. Thank you, Lord Mayor. I'd like to move a motion without notice. Uh, that Council give a formal acknowledgement and vote of thanks to Lord Mayor Martin Hazy for his leadership over the past four years and acknowledge the support of Lady Mayor's Genevieve Theresa Hazy. Seconded by Councillor Hussam Abia. Can't speak to <laughs> <laughs> The Lord Mayor will forbid that. Thank you, Councillor. Thank you, Lord Mayor. There, there is more to be said than what has been reported tonight, um, though I'm sure there'll be um, more exchanges this evening in our last council dinner. Um, but I did want to admit it formally um, thanks to you over the last four years and also um, acknowledge uh, how proud I have been to be your deputy. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Lord Mayor. That's very kind of you. Councillor Abia, do you second the motion? Would you like to speak to it effusively? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord Mayor. I respect my right. CEO, we need to talk over dinner. <laughs> Members, is there any debate? <laughs> Councillor Martin. Oh, my God. Well done. <laughs> Look, I, uh, I want to speak. This will motivate Councillor Avia. I want to speak in support of uh, Councillor Mershaw's motion. Um, it, it has been an interesting four years, and uh, four years in which a great deal has been achieved. Uh, last night I was uh, talking to ratepayers, and uh, there were a variety of issues uh, raised. Um, but the one consistent issue that's raised by uh, the ratepayers of North Adelaide is that they are sorry to see you leave. Um, you have uh, won enormous respect in the community, uh, not only for the things that you've done and for the leadership that you've shown here in council, but for the way in which you've touched the people of North Adelaide. 
you have been a, a great communicator. And I, I might add, I thought it was a sensational touch at the weekend when people were distributed with a card uh, from you and Genevieve saying how much you'd enjoyed the period of time that you've been Lord Mayor. And I know from the people I spoke to that it was much appreciated. So uh, look, I, I wish you well. Um, uh, I think uh, this has been an extraordinary term uh, for a Lord Mayor in this city. Um, and I'm very grateful for the time that I've had working with you. Good luck. Thank you, Councillor Martin. Members, I will take you back. Councillor Abiyad, come on. <laughs> we'll talk over dinner, Councillor Abiyad. Deputy Lord Mayor to sum up. Summed up, members, I put this matter before you. Those in favour, those against, thank you kindly, members. Um, members, we now move to any further motions without notice. I don't see any hands, so we go to, we've dealt with confidential items, of course, in a special council meeting. We don't have any confidential items on this particular meeting itself. So, members, it is 7.02 p.m. on Tuesday, the 23rd of October, 2018, and this auspicious occasion, I will formally close our last council meeting together, and I will say thank you and well done, council. Congratulations.